Hey guys, welcome to my review of... Ah, oh, what the hell movie are we even on now? What are we on? Uh, uh, number five. Fast Five. We're on number five. God! These movies just don't end! Ugh. So the plot for this movie is that... Paul Walker and, you know, the Brewster chick, whatever the hell her name is, go and they break uh, Vin Diesel out of jail, and then now Paul Walker's a fugitive, so they all go to Brazil, and Brazil is being ran by a drug cartel, and for some reason they want to, like, take down the drug cartel by, you know, robbing them of all their money and all that shit. And The Rock is there hunting them down, which is actually one of the best parts of the movie is The Rock actually, you know, hunting the crew down just because I've been waiting for The Rock to show up in this movie for them to actually do something a little bit different. But does that help this movie? So we get a lot of characters that return from the past movies. Tyrese Gibson's back. I had a lot of fun with him. I liked him in the second movie. I like him in this movie. Gail Gadot's back. Just says eye candy. Jordana Brewster's back. Ludacris is back. A lot of characters from the past movies come back for this movie. And it's, you know, it's nice to see a lot of them back. You know, a lot of these characters, they have fun. Soon King is also back in this movie. And I made a mistake of... Uh, Tokyo Drift does not take place between Fast and Furious 4 and Fast 5. I believe it takes place after Fast 5. Don't quote me on that because I didn't do any research before telling you guys that. This, I don't, just yell at me in the comments below. The new character that I really wanted to talk about though was The Rock. And he's a lot of fun in this movie. But unfortunately you do not see enough of him. He plays some CIA agent or a DEA agent. Something like that. Where he's pretty much going after the whole, the whole crew. And he's a lot of fun. Like, he is. He's, you can tell he's just enjoying this. He's like Vin Diesel. He's enjoying this so much, so you are enjoying him on screen. And I had a lot of fun with him in the movie. In fact, why isn't The Rock... Why hasn't he been in an Expendables movie yet? That doesn't make any sense. So for the bad things in this movie, this movie takes a long time to get moving. Like, there's a, there's a lot of action, but it just doesn't feel like it's paced very well. And the movie feels pretty choppy. And it takes a really long time to actually get to the point. I don't think we actually start getting to the point to like the end of the second act or the beginning of the third act. Like it's, it takes there's a lot, a lot of setup with this movie, and that comes from another problem that sprang up. And that other problem is that this isn't even really a racing movie. This is a heist movie, and I don't know if I'm not. I don't think I'm a huge fan of heist movies, but there's just so much setup in this movie. There's no racing. Like they really force it. That, like, how they need cars in this movie. It's just, there's no racing at all. It's just straight up just a heist movie. And, yeah, it's nice that they tried to do something different, but I feel like they could have been at least a little bit more clever with this. Ah, who am I kidding? This is a Fast and Furious movie. The writers aren't clever. <laughs> Also, there's a scene in the movie, I don't know why this caught me off such guard, but there's a scene where, like, all the police are, like, almost kill Vin Diesel, Jordana Brewster, and Paul Walker in this movie, and they just barely get away, and, like, right as they get away, they're just, like, you know the cops are right around the corner, Jordana Brewster just decides to say, in the most lamest way possible, We have no choice but to split up. And it is just so funny, because they, they all stop. And they start hugging, you know, it's a big happy moment when you know that the police are right around the corner trying to kill you. It's just so stupid. And I don't know why Jordana Brewster's acting in this movie. It never bothered me in any of the other ones, but in this one it just does because she comes off as just so uninterested at times in this movie. Also, there's a scene in the movie, like the physics take a backseat in this movie more than any of the other Fast and Furious movies. Like, in the beginning of the movie, they're breaking Vin Diesel off of the prison bus in the middle of the desert. Paul Walker gets his Dodge Charger, I think it's a Dodge Charger, goes, pulls up, stops in front of the bus, the butts, like, goes and clips the back fender of the Dodge Charger, doesn't do anything to the Charger, and it just flips. It's just ridiculous. The climax of this movie is such a spectacle. It's so fun to watch, but the this is so... Glaring, it's just distracting at how over the top and how just not fathomable it is. But yeah, physics are definitely on hold in this movie. You really have to turn your brain off for this one. I mean, really. With that being said, though, I loved Vin Diesel and The Rock in this movie. I had a lot of fun watching. I wish there was more of The Rock, but there's a great fight in the middle of the movie with between The Rock and Vin Diesel 
that I actually enjoyed. I thought it was really good, and, like, it's... You can tell, like, there's a lot of actual stunt work and everything, and I thought it looked okay for what for a Fast and Furious movie. That was actually a really good fight, I thought. There's also a lot of good action in this movie, and there's a lot of good chemistry between the characters, and that's one thing I do enjoy, is that all the characters have chemistry. I actually wouldn't have mind if the franchise ended right here. I think this would have been the perfect movie to end the franchise on. But no, they just kept going. And going. And going. And I'm still not done yet. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. Be on the lookout for the rest of my Fast and Furious reviews. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.